If you are a fan of Formula 1, you might have wondered what happens if a driver is sick or unable to compete. For example, in the 2022 Italian Grand Prix, we saw that Nick De Vries drove for Williams in place of the injured Alex Albon. In this video, we will explore the topic of reserve drivers in Formula 1. Let's get started. Reserve drivers, also referred to as test drivers, play many roles within a Formula 1 team. The most obvious being to sub in for a regular driver who is unable to participate in the race weekend. Beyond the role of substitute, the reserve driver actually plays a big role within a Formula 1 team. Car development. Back at the factory, the reserve driver spends countless hours in the simulator helping the team prepare for the upcoming races. The work done in the simulator helps the team perfect the setup of the car before the first practice session of the race weekend. In 2021, Formula 1 pundits praised Alex Albon, who was reserve driver for Red Bull at the time, for his significant efforts in the factory. Team principal Christian Horner has mentioned that Albon's efforts in the simulator was crucial for the team to win the driver's championship. In summary, reserve drivers often do much more work behind the scenes than full-time drivers do when it comes to car development. Driving Commitments Reserve drivers often are called upon to drive during the free practice sessions ahead of a Grand Prix. This kind of substitution is quite common. For example, Robert Kubica subbed in for Valtteri Bottas during the free practice sessions in the Hungarian Grand Prix for Alfa Romeo. In addition to these free practice sessions, reserve drivers often play a role in pre- and post-season testing when the car is being developed. They could also be called upon to drive at promotional events if needed. Some reserve drivers take part in other branches of motorsport. However, when called upon, they will tend to their Formula 1 duties. Liam Lawson, for example, is racing in Formula 2. Nick De Vries and Stuffel Van Dorn are racing in Formula E. Now let's look at a few interesting facts about reserve drivers. Reserve drivers are salaried employees, so they are paid similar to regular drivers. The salary for a reserve driver is not disclosed by the team, so it's unclear how much these drivers can earn. Similar to the regular drivers, it is likely that their compensation is tied to performance. Their contracts often have several bonuses attached, and if the driver achieves a goal that has been agreed upon between them and the team, they could get paid a bonus. Reserve drivers often have sponsors and also take up other commitments that may earn them money outside racing. Maintaining a super license Just like regular drivers, reserve drivers need to have a super license. This is challenging in some cases because they get limited track time. By competing in other series such as Formula E or Formula 2, reserve drivers can build their super license points. In addition, as discussed before, they are often given track time in free practice sessions to maintain their super license. F1 Substitution Rules in order to be entered into a Grand Prix, a reserve driver must have taken part in at least one practice session. This rule impacted Haas in the 2021 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Mick Schumacher suffered a massive crash during the qualifying session and was unable to compete in the race. Haas had Pietro Fittipaldi available to replace Mick Schumacher but was unable to use him because he did not compete in any of the free practice sessions or qualifying. The final outcome was that Haas only had one car racing on Sunday. Reserve drivers can be brought in from other teams. Substitute drivers can come from other teams. We often see this. For example, in 2020, we saw George Russell replacing Lewis Hamilton when he had COVID. George was racing for Williams at this time. This year, we saw the reverse scenario. Mercedes reserve driver Nick De Vries subbed in for Williams driver Alex Albon as discussed before. Mick Schumacher is listed as the substitute for Ferrari. If Carlos Sainz or Charles Leclerc is unable to compete, it could be Mick who takes their spot. Hope this video helped you learn about Formula 1 reserve drivers. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content.